U.S. officials have asked that Webby might interfere with airlines. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and FAA Administrator Steve Dixon sent a letter to the CEOs of the two telecoms on Friday requesting a delay of no more than two weeks, according to Reuters. At Telecoms Now Tell Insider they are reviewing the latest request for a further delay. Buttigieg and Dixon write that, even with an additional delay, they Expect 5G deployment will still begin in January, with certain exceptions around priority airports. Carriers are miffed about the delays. The two telecoms are eager to start deploying the new 5G spectrum that they bought in early 2021, which uses the so-called C-band frequencies. Those frequencies of spectrum allow radio waves to hit a sweet spot between high speeds and long distances, allowing for higher speed 5G deployments than traditional LTE spectrum can achieve, without the stifling distance limitations that come with millimeter wave 5G. Getting these deployments out is a critical step for AT. Make 5G a worthwhile upgrade and stay competitive with T-Mobile, which has already started deploying its own similar spectrum. Officials have been concerned that C-band frequencies could interfere with altimeters and prevent the use of guided landing systems meant for times of low visibility threatening the safety of aircraft. On December 7, the FAA went so far as to tell pilots they wouldn't be able to use those guided in automatic landing systems at airports where there's deemed to be interference which could theoretically lead to many flight delays. Buttigieg and Dixon want to identify priority airports and mitigation strategies so that most large commercial aircraft can operate safely in all conditions. Some proposals revolve around placing 5G buffer zones around airports, according to the Wall Street Journal. At covered the cost of altimeter upgrades. Verizon also went in on the airline industry, telling Insider, this industry which got a $54 billion taxpayer-funded government bailout over the past couple years clearly has much bigger issues to worry about.